I'm going to insert an empty film cartridge just so the camera sits a little flatter on this surface. Take the front cap and clear glue and put a bead of glue in that corner. And go all the way around the cap. Push it in a little bit. Place a bead of glue on that top edge and inside of it. And put another quick bead of glue on the cap. Use the cap down. Wipe up some of the excess. Just cap it down and weight it down. While it's drying, cut some 12 millimeter strips out of construction paper. And then through the center of those strips, score a line with a pencil. This will help. Make it easier to fold. I've cut the 12 millimeter strips to fit within the camera. I'll adhere these to where the body cap meets the, the edge of the camera. By doing this, you're bringing back some of the structural integrity of the body and making it more light safe. First coat of glue on the paper is simply for absorption. Coat in the camera, and then I follow up with another coat on the paper. You can line the entire cap with the paper strips or simply do four major areas, one on the bottom, one on each side, and one tucked under where the viewfinder used to be. Then in your voided areas, you can follow up with Primatex black silicone. Primatex black silicone is available in most any auto parts store. You can squeeze it out like a caulk and it'll dry black and rubbery. This camera has been sitting for about 24 hours, so I'm sure the paper is more than dry. I'm going to fill in the voids with the Primatex. Just lay a bead right in that crack where the... I'm going to even go over the paper here, but anyway, line the whole space, right? any space where the body cap meets the body. And just follow up with a finger and just kind of push it in there. I'm going to outline some thoughts on the tripod mount. This time around I'm going to use a quarter twenty T nut fastener five sixteenths by three quarter rectangle. See it's rectangular in shape. Again, quarter twenty T nut fastener, five sixteenths by three quarter rectangle. I'm going to use the existing pin on the viewfinder bracket as a locator for the T nut fastener. By the way, what was the top of the camera is not going to be the bottom of the camera, it'll be the, the tripod mount. I'm going to take the JB Quick two part epoxy by JB Weld. I've used their products before on other cameras and it works really well. And fill this trough with the weld and then eventually cap it with illustration board. Now, two-part epoxies don't give the greatest ad adhesion on gloss plastics. So you want to take the back side of an X-Acto knife and just scrape the inside and the sides like crazy. 
again giving it a surface to bite into. I'm also going to trim off a little bit of this top here of the that locator pin just to give us a little more thread for our tripod mount in the end when we plan to use it as a tripod mount. Being a tripod mount, this area is going to be this is going to be a stress area too. So, being a stress point, I'll also drill anchor points into the sides of this trough. You can do that by either, like we did in part one, you can bore tiny holes in the side as our anchor points for the for the two-part epoxy. You don't need to go through all the way through the plastic. You're just kind of trying to create an indent. Or you could use a power drill with a very small drill bit. Essentially just break the surface. And do a series of these. Before I fill this with epoxy, I'm going to mask everything off here. To ensure that I don't get any epoxy on the threads, I'm going to thread on a quarter twenty screw part way on my T nut fastener. You squeeze out equal parts from your two-part epoxy. Mix it up really well. Again, be careful not to get any on the threads. <laughs> All right, I'm going to make a mess of this. Looks like I'll have to do this in two parts. Now back the screw on a little, just because I've got some epoxy on the threads there. And I can't know what words for being pretty. In preparation for my second layer of epoxy, I'm just making little pinholes in the first layer of epoxy. Again, anchor points. I'm sure this layer would hold fine, but I just want to exit. I want to fill the whole trough with it so it's level across the top. I screw back in. We go with part two of the two part epoxy. Okay, we have the trough completely filled on, and I'll let that set up.